I haven't done a red and blue first form Pokemon other than Weedle in a really long time, and Omanyte's one I was really interested in seeing how good it was going to be. Why? Well, Omanyte's interesting. Its stats, I mean, slow, but great defense, exceptional special. And since special is both offensive and defensive, it is bulky. Its move pool, while not fantastic, is still pretty good. I mean, in terms of TMs, it gets some good moves, and it starts with Water Gun. So, it could be a really, really good Pokemon. The one thing is its speed. Being that slow can make certain trainers a really big problem, but I can guarantee you Brock is not going to be one of them. I don't even battle the Bug Catchers because since Omanyte is a Rock type, it shouldn't have too much of an issue with a lot of the Pokemon in the early game, and because it's slow, it's actually not great to battle Pokemon that outspeed you because it takes an extra turn per attack. We beat Brock very easily, and while level 9 isn't great, we still should be fine for all the trainers that are coming up. Now, I know a meme from a dry bread is what fossil he takes. I always take the Helix fossil. I have to because I'm Omanyte, but I do always take the Helix fossil because it's just quicker. To get the dome fossil, you'd have to go to the left, and every time you turn, you lose some frames. Also, at four times speed, turning is hard. So the less I have to turn, the better. Misty's water moves are going to be bad for Omanyte, so I'm going to battle Rival 2. I'm pretty underleveled, but as long as Pidgeotto doesn't use Sand Attack, which somehow it is missed with twice, we should be fine. I mean, Bulbasaur could be a problem with Vine Whip, but that's the only thing that could really be that big an issue. Oh, Leech Seed's actually also... Oh, uh, you know what? Huh. I level up in Misty's Gym and battle Rival 2 again, but the issue is, even though we can beat... Well, Sand Attack hurts, but even though we can beat the other three Pokemon really easily, because our defense is so great, it's not like they can do much to us. But it just as soon as Bulbasaur uses one Vine Whip, we're done. So that's a bit of an issue. And considering our only move is a water move, it's not like we do a ton of damage to Bulbasaur. How are we going to get past Rival 2? Honestly, we're going to reset. I severely overestimated how easy a time Omanyte would have with the early game. I don't know why. I didn't consider just how difficult Bulbasaur would be since we only have a water move. So I'm going to go and battle a ton more fast trainers such as the Hiker in Mount Moon. And hopefully we're at a much higher level by the time we get to Rival 2 again. Well, I kind of have bad news. Even with battling pretty much every easy trainer I could, we're still just at level 16. Omanyte's in the medium fast group. I mean, now we're level 17, but it doesn't gain levels nearly as quickly as something like Squirtle would. So in the late game, that's going to be nice. But at this point, it's really bad. And the thing with Bulbasaur is it's not just Vine Whip that's bad. Because of Sand Attack, and it takes a bunch of hits to knock out Pidgeotto, heck, we haven't gotten a Vine Whip in what? 15 turns? And we're still... Oh, there's one. But we're still going to lose. Thankfully, I saved in Mount Moon. You cannot get back to Mount Moon once you exit, at least not for a long time. So I'm going to battle even more trainers and Geodude in Mount Moon. I have to. It's taken me an hour of in-game time, and I still haven't beaten Rival 2. But I'm at a much higher level than you last saw. I'm at level 20. And I do have Bide, which could theoretically help me versus Bulbasaur, but isn't guaranteed to. So, we've knocked out the first three Pokemon, and now I'm going to go for Water Gun. Thankfully, Leech Seed misses, and you actually, we don't need Bide. So, the problem with Bide before is that one Vine Whip knocked me out. But, at this level, even though Water Gun isn't doing much, it's still doing way more than before. And now we're actually outspeeding things like Caterpie and Weedle. So, this is probably going to make Misty okay. Of course, had we beaten Misty, we could have gone Bubble Beam. But I don't think with just a water move, even with Bide, we would have beaten Misty. Because even though Bide would have done a bunch of damage, I just don't think we would have survived a few Bubble Beams. Especially because odds are one of them would crit. Before we can even get to Misty though, we should get to Bill's house. But there's one trainer in our way, the Oddish Trainer. And although Bide does help, 
it doesn't help enough. See, Bide is not an auto win. People always like to think, just use Bide, Jaros. Why don't you use Bide? It takes a lot of turns, and it's not all that good. Water Gun isn't much better because Absorb pretty much restores all the damage I do. So I'm going to actually have to go back to Cerulean City and try to beat Misty. I know some of you might be thinking I should have just battled Misty earlier, but watch. I'm going to try for Water Gun, and look at that. It's not really doing all that much to star you, and we don't want to use Bide. Against star me, there we go. Don't forget, we're at the higher level because we spent all that extra time in Mount Moon. We would not have won had we battled at level 16. We still lost. That might be a better strategy. Now I know, just use Bide on Staryu, but then we guarantee three or four attacks. At least with Water Gun, there's a chance for a crit. And the more damage Staryu does to us, which would help for Bide, the less damage we have to take from Starmie. And I battled again and again. I could not win. And eventually, I had to use my rare candies. I battled literally every trainer here, and finally, now Water Gun does about half. So with Absorb, it's a 3 at KO. More importantly, we have just enough HP to withstand the Absorbs and have 12 to spare. Now that we've beaten the last, we can talk to Bill, and now that we've talked to Bill, we can actually access the SSN and Vermilion, meaning we don't have to battle Misty right now. Like I say, it wastes time to do that, but I don't think we're beating Surge anyway. I've spent 47 minutes on this run, although there was a reset, so technically 36 minutes. That's how long it took Mewtwo to beat the entirety of Kanto. Just to give you some perspective. Rival 3, we can use Water Gun, don't forget. We still don't have Bubble Beam. And Water Gun, well, we're at almost level 30. We do have Body Slam. That's going to help versus Misty. And more importantly... It's going to help versus Ivysaur. Now, I know some of you might be wondering, why don't you just use Badge Boost Glitch? Actually, I reset here just to see if Vine Whip would knock me out. This run, actually, you guys should know, is not as recent as you think. I recovered an old hard drive, and I thought I'd lost this, which was really upsetting. This run's actually supposed to have come out two years ago. And back then, especially with the first form Pokemon, I really wanted the runs to be super consistent. I still do, but I was definitely a lot more, uh, let's just say strict about it. But what I was saying before I cut myself off, I do that a lot, is you might be wondering why don't I just use Withdraw in order to do the badge boost glitch to outspeed Misty's Pokemon? And the answer is that until we beat Koga, the badge boost glitch doesn't apply to speed. In fact, the in-game text wrongly says Surge increases speed, but it is actually Koga. So I am going to dig back to Cerulean, but this time without having beaten Surge. And that's okay. Now that we're almost at level 30, I think we're more than able to defeat Misty. And after Misty, there's another trainer with four grass Pokemon. So that's going to be a really, really fun reward. Assuming we win. Okay, I think we might outspeed Star you. I'm not sure. Yep. And it's a two shot with Body Slam. We're level 30 now. Star Me obviously outspeeds us. And in case you were wondering, would good AI Star Me not use water moves? You already know the answer is no. We've seen that before. But I never vocalized it. So now, in case you're one of the people who likes to listen to these runs, Star Me can use water moves. We can delete Bide. The TM Brock gives us for Bubble Beam. The TM Misty gives us. And now we have to battle the infamous Junior Trainer. This is going to be absolutely awful. At least we have Body Slam. Do we outspeed? Oh, we do. But it's not a one-shot. That's okay. Bellsprout, it is a one-shot. You know what? This wasn't as bad. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. I think we're fine. No, not Rap. Anything but Rap. That's actually worse. Don't use rap. Stop that. Stop that now. Please stop. No, 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 no. Come on. Come on. I don't think I saved. Thank you. Now you can see why I hate rap so much, but thankfully it went for growth. And we're going to actually have a pretty easy time in Rock Tunnel. As slow as we are, we're going to be faster than all the other Pokemon. And we have Body Slam for Slowpoke. There is the Junior Trainer with the Oddish and Bulbasaur. And... Thankfully, it goes for Stun Spore, so that was really lucky, and we didn't even get attacked. So as I was saying, we're not going to have too much problems in Rock Tunnel, 
But once we get to Celadon City, we're gonna do something I almost never do, but we definitely should do is go to the Mart first. Why? Well, first of all, we battled a lot of extra trainers, so we should be good on money. And in runs like these, losing a few minutes by going to the Mart before Giovanni, first of all, I'll probably have to go back to the Mart to buy more vitamins. I usually do, but it's just not gonna matter much. The margins are just much, much less important here. And more importantly, we can get two fresh waters and one of them will give me Ice Beam. And with Ice Beam, we finally have a good move to use against Grass Pokemon. We also can get the Poke Doll in case I want to use Mimic. I don't think I will, but it's good to have the option. I can battle Giovanni 1 right now. That's going to be easy. We actually outspeed Onix and Rhyhorn and Kangaskhan only has normal moves. So even though it gets a crit, it still only does five damage per Comet Punch. Bubble Beam is going to be a two a KO and then it only does two damage. So we're good. Now, where do we go? Well, I, we can't go to Erica. That's going to be really bad. So I actually didn't heal and warp all the way back to Lavender. Don't forget, I don't have Fly because I haven't beaten Surge. We only have two badges. We never battle Rival 4 with just two badges, but Ice Beam on Pidgeotto, Ice Beam on Gyarados, we freeze it. Uh, Body Slam did about the same. Growlithe, we can use Bubble Beam. Kadabra, we can use Body Slam. It outsped me though. And Ivysaur, Ice Beam, we one shot and we knock it out. I should also mention that in the Mart, I didn't buy Calciums as you might think. I bought Carbos. That was because although in the late game, it won't matter. In the early game, having a little bit more speed. See, we outspeed Ghastly. That would not be happening without those Carbos. Yes. Eventually, once they start using Fully Evolved Pokemon, that's going to stop. But for now, being fast means attacking more, means less likely our super awful weakness to grass can get exploited. If I don't beat Lieutenant Surge, I can't use Fly. If I don't beat Erica, I can't use Strength. And if I don't beat Koga, well, I could beat Koga if I want to, I guess. That one's going to be easy. However, it would be a pain to get back from Fuchsia City without Fly. Therefore, the only decision that makes sense is to battle Lieutenant Surge. We're at level 37, we outspeed and one-shot Voltorb and Pikachu. Raichu, though, outspeeds us. However, because our special is so good, Thundershock barely does anything. We do get paralyzed, but we get a rare critical hit. We're not going to get many of those with our speed, but we knock out Raichu. Now we can fly. I don't need to battle Erica, so I'm not going to go do that. No, I'm going to go to the Safari Zone to get Surf, the most powerful water move. I mean, technically it's Hydro Pump, but it can't miss, so I prefer Surf. And then we're going to battle Koga, whose Poison Pokemon can do next to nothing against a Rock Pokemon with good special. Okay, that was kind of misleading. It's the good defense, why they can do nothing, but the good special, well, I'll knock them out quickly and they can also do nothing. I mean, I guess I wasn't wrong. Anyway, let's go beat Koga. Koga, as always, leads with a coughing. Hopefully we outspeed. We do. If we don't one-shot, that's okay. X attack is fine. Muck, we get a crit. It's not a one-shot even with the crit. Sludge does 12 damage. Pretty good. Surf doesn't one-shot coughing number two. We knock it out. And now Weezing uses Toxic. That's where the good special comes in. We go for Surf, and thankfully we get self-destruct. So, actually, Omanite can evolve to Omastar. I kind of want to use Omastar. I think Omastar... It might do much better than you think because Omanite's big two problems are that it's really slow, Omastar is less slow, and it starts with Ornn Attack, meaning it'll do far, far more damage to Bulbasaur and won't have to waste as much time in Mount Moon. I don't know if I'll have enough time to do it during the month of Jeros, but definitely interested in doing that run. All right, so now that we've been Koga, we could go battle Blaine. Before I do that, I want to try battling rival Fival. It would be a little more efficient, now, I use Ice Beam. I'm just going to see how this goes without Badge Boost Glitch. And the answer is Gyarados uses Hydro Pump and obliterates me. So I think it's time to try Badge Boost Glitching. All right, against Pidgeotto, I'm going to use Withdraw. But you see, this is the issue is that it can use Sand Attack. Thankfully, it's only used one, but that's still not going to be great. We don't even one shot with Ice Beam. And then it uses a second, now a third Sand Attack. All right, well, that's problematic. Gyarados' Hydro Pump still does a lot, and if we had Blaine's badge, then we would be also boosting our special. So this was definitely a lapse of judgment, one that today I would never make. 
but it doesn't cost us that much time, probably just about three minutes. I still frequently, even in fully evolved runs, will go from place to place, trying to see which would be best for my Pokemon, but it's just so obvious to me watching this that Blaine is the right play. Get the badge boost for special, get the experience points, and then you'll easily be able to defeat Rival Fievel. Alright, I chose not to battle any of the trainers in Blaine's gym, because Omine is still doing fairly well, and if we want to get a top time, we're just going to need to battle as few trainers left as we possibly can. Obviously, Blaine's going to be very easy. None of his Pokemon have, well, Fire Spin could have been a problem, but thankfully we didn't get that. And now we get the badge boost for special. We can dig back to Saffron. I never healed in Cinnabar and we easily can beat Rival Fievel. As always, he's going to lead with his Pidgeot and I'm going to go for Withdraw. Although it is risky, we've seen it could use Sand Attack, so I'm only going to go for three. Then Ice Beam knocks it out. Unfortunately, it doesn't do half to Gyarados and Hydro Pump crits. This just goes to show you those boosts to special that I was so angry I didn't get right away, they didn't actually matter as much as I thought. I mean, defensively, it's because it got a crit, but offensively, it didn't do nearly as much to Gyarados as I was hoping. So now, with two Sand Attacks, and six withdraws, that's eight badge boosts. Once we hit, we're going to obliterate Pidgeot. We're going to do... All right, see, we almost... Oh, come on! So we don't knock out Gyarados with eight badge boosts. Uh, one more sand attack, we actually would have. That's still bad. So we're going to go for... How many should I go for? Four. Uh, let's just go four. All right, this should do half. No. Okay, finally not a crit. You know what? It did do half. Nice. But we level up right here, which is a problem. We will be able to knock out Growlithe with Surf. And we can use... Oh, no. Come on! Are you kidding me? Confusion, confusion, confusion. Wow, that was like the Buffalo Buffalo sentence. Really, this is bad. I should have leveled up in Blaine's gym. All right, well, I guess second best thing, level up in Sylph Company. I mean, it's not as easy as Blaine's gym, but it's still plenty easy. Plenty of Pokemon around. We're going to have to come back. Unfortunately, I mess up and I reset. So I decide just to try one more time at level 42. So we're still going to level up in the middle of the battle. We do one shot Pidgeot. Gyarados is going to be a three at KO, but I didn't want Sand Attack. We knock it out with Body Slam, but now we can use Withdraw against Growlithe. And every time it uses Leer, I can use another Withdraw. I think we're good. We're just going to use Surf. We probably will knock out. Yeah. And then Venusaur. Okay. So we actually didn't need to battle other trainers. Good thing I messed up. See, sometimes mistakes work out. Now I'm not very much worried about Giovanni number two, and I'm not worried about the trainer with the Marowak for once. It's been a while since we didn't have to worry about him. But the trainers we have left, or the gym leaders, I should say, Erica eventually will outspeed all her Pokemon. So that will be when Erica is the next trainer we should battle, but not before. Sabrina is going to be kind of annoying but with withdraw against mr mime we should be fine so long as we get past Kadabra. and then giovanni number three is going to be quite easy so i don't think the rest of the gym leaders will be too big a deal the elite four is going to be a totally different story but we'll deal with that in a little bit so i battled some extra trainers to make sure i won't level up in the middle of this battle and i'm not at full hp oops and yeah we can't set withdraws up against Kadabra. I guess I wanted to see if that would work, but no, no Josh from 2020. That will not work. Uh, stop it. What are you doing? This is a bad, okay, well, we knock out Kadabra. All right, I guess that works. I mean, this seems like, yeah, I see. All right, fine. Is Surf, yeah, good, good, go for Surf. And now Body Slam should knock it out. Oh, it doesn't. Well, maybe heal the full HP. That, that might have helped, but the crit kind of mattered. All right, I'm telling you, man, just set up against Mr. Mime. I'm telling you, it's the best strat. There you go. There you go. I'm proud. Okay, well, yikes. Actually, this is just going to be a harder battle than I thought. I mean, we didn't one-shot Kadabra. Hopefully, it doesn't... All right, let's go for Surf. You know, I really just don't think this is going to work. I mean, I can set up the withdraws, but yeah, it just has to use one confusion. This is the problem with having to battle extra trainers and then not having potions is that you either have to go out and waste time or not battle at full HP and then just waste your life. Thankfully, 2020 Jeros is a lot more stubborn than I am. 
Like, seriously, I would have definitely gone to heal. And stuck with the two withdraws versus Kadabra, and then four versus Mr. Mime. Because of barrier, I went for Surf, or he went for Surf. I don't know what pronouns we're using anymore. I mean, seriously, talking about this run, it's almost like I'm watching a different person. This just, it's really frustrating. But we're going to get through, and I know I could have redid this and then just lied and said it was my first attempt, but then I'd be lying to you guys. Ah, uh, it was it was really tough. This video sat for such a long time. I mean, I found it like three months ago, and I'm like, oh, I should release this. And then I'm like, no, it sucks. You played, trust me, this is one of the worst runs I've ever done. It, it's really, it's not bad yet, but it gets really, really bad later. I know I'm spoiling it, but whatever. Anyway, now we're going to outspeed Erica, I think. I actually don't know. Eh, well, let's see if we outspeed the first trainer. I mean, execute's pretty slow, so if we outspeed, that doesn't mean much. We're at level 46. Spike Cannon, by the way, its horn attack is the move Omastar starts with. I really want to do Omastar now just to kind of prove that I'm so much better than this. Well, at least we'll three shot, maybe. I don't know. Okay, very good. Yeah, uh, Victory Bell's the fastest Pokemon, so if you outspeed and one shot Victory Bell, you will outspeed and one shot. Well, maybe not Vile Bloom, but we do. Okay, now we only have one gym leader left, Giovanni. Giovanni is weak to water, so this is going to be easy. All right, let's just get this battle over with. We're going to use Surf. We should have used Withdraw, actually, so we'd outspeed Dugtrio, but that's all right. All right, come on. Wow, that did a lot more than I thought it would. Our defense is supposed to be really high. Whatever, we still win. Nido King and Nido Queen don't know ground moves, and Rhydon has to go for Surf. We actually outspeed Rhydon anyway. So we're at level 48 which is actually pretty good for even a fully evolved Pokemon. Don't forget in, I think it's generation seven is the first time that you get a bonus for not evolving your Pokemon. I think 20% XP bonus. Speaking of experience points, we're gonna level up in 3,700 of them. So after Rhyhorn, I think, which isn't good. I might have to battle an extra trainer. Let's battle rival six first, just to make sure. He leads with Pidgeot. I'm going to go for Withdraw a couple times, three times, and now I'm going to go for Ice Beam. Rhyhorn, I'm going to go for Surf, just in case I don't level up, so I didn't. So that's good. That means Gyarados is Hydro Pump. Ooh, one of the missed. That's really good. We level up after Gyarados, and that's actually perfect, because then we can use three more Withdraws versus Growlithe, and I could even have deleted Body Slam for Mimic, and then we definitely would outspeed... Oh, we don't outspeed Alakazam. But Reflect is fine. Another Reflect. Ah, oh, we don't knock it out with Surf. Psychic. Oh, no, our special dropped. All right, we're done. Uh, Ice Beam. Yeah, okay. Well, there's a lot of different things I could do here. And what is the one that 2020, Josh? So we talked about... No, just battle again. That's the thing, man. I just don't like how stubborn I am back then. This was like when I took my giant break, and I did take a really long break. I don't even want to commentate this battle. I want to talk about how I changed. I decided that I was too stubborn, that I had like one strategy I developed in minimum battles and that that was the way I was going to play the game. And I don't remember, it was one day in 2021 where I just decided, no, sometimes you got to go slow in order to go fast. That means picking up some extra rare candies. That means abandoning strategies if they're not working and recognizing quicker whether strategies are working. But Experience is a big part of that, guys. The fact of the matter is, how can I identify so quickly you should go to Blaine? Because I've done this now, what, 66 times? I don't know what order these are going to come out in. So either 65, 66, or 67 times. That's not even true. There are some other runs in Gen 1 that got deleted when my hard drive failed that I wasn't able to recover. So, yeah, you'll see those eventually. They're so long ago that I don't remember them. Just like this one. But watching this back... It's just so annoying. Just level up or use Mimic Agility. You don't need Body Slam. You can go for Double Edge. I mean, truth be told, I don't like deleting moves, but it's just such an easy strat. I don't know. Anyway, let's skip ahead to when I finally figure that out. I really do want to apologize to new viewers. I know according to my analytics, most of you have been watching the series pretty much all the way through. By the way, I, I win this time. I literally just level up after Pidgeot and then... I can just use six withdraws against Rhyhorn. And Rhyhorn can even use like Tail Whip, making it even more badge boosts. So now there are eight badge boosts. 
uh, the point I'm trying to make to you guys is I do want to apologize to newer viewers. This is not what the videos are typically like. But for returning viewers, doing kind of a meta analysis, looking at some of my old runs in real time, and seeing how much I've evolved while still giving them a commentary, it is a different perspective we haven't seen before. And unfortunately, one we're going to need in the Elite Four. This was my worst Elite Four ever. I play this about as badly. So usually these videos take about an hour and a half because I do use four times speed. The long ones take about two hours. Obviously, I edit. Well, AJ edits these now. Thanks, AJ. By the way, if I'd release this, AJ wouldn't get to edit them. So now it's edited nicely. -er. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is that he has sifted through, well, I sift through and sent him a timesheet. Anyway, he, there's been an hour and 27 minutes of footage. Just speak, man, speak. There is remaining another hour and 22 minutes in video one. I got so frustrated, I went to video two. Now, I could just skip ahead to the winning run, which I almost want to do. That's what I used to do way back when. But the truth is, while obviously it's in my benefit to make longer videos to a point, I try to make them only as long as I need to. I feel like the joy I get from making these videos and hopefully that you get from watching them is like solving a puzzle. The puzzle is you have just an Omanyte, just a Chansey, just whatever. Can you beat Red and Blue, a game with very few moves, aka very few pieces? And how are you going to solve that? When the strategy is I'm just going to try over and over and over again, it's not fun. So I don't show you when I'm trying 80 times the same thing. What is fun is when we try new moves, see what combination of luck we need, even in Weedle, just trying to figure out what the solution is. And so with that said, let's talk about why my first attempt was awful and was not the solution to this puzzle. On the surface, Laura Lee seems like a good matchup because she can only use rest. Since I'm both water and rock, the only move that deals quote unquote neutral damage would be a psychic move like rest isn't. We knock it out with body slam after using all six withdraws. Cloister Surf will do more damage, and although it goes for Clamp, we still have 109 for Slowbro. We haven't taught ourselves Mimic, so no Amnesia for us, just use Surf, but here's the issue. Now we level up. Thankfully, Jinx can't go for Ice Punch, and Lapras has to go for, uh-oh. Yeah, this isn't gonna work. Nowadays, I just use rare candies right away by default, but back then I didn't. And you can see why it's kind of a waste of time not to use the rare candies. That said, 2020 Jeros had a different idea, which frustrates me because he teaches Mimic. And why didn't you just do that versus Rival 6? It would have made it. Oh my god. Anyway, with Mimic, this is going to be probably a joke because we can teach Amnesia or learn amnesia, I don't know, mimic amnesia, that's probably the right vernacular, but we'll do that right now. With mimicking amnesia, I don't think there's really much anything can do to us. I mean, we have max defense, max special, Lapras can't freeze us, so even though we still level up in the middle of the battle, our special gains aren't negated. And even if Hydro Pump hit, unless it crit, we win anyway. Now, as bad as we are, Bruno still should be relatively easy. We probably should have used Withdraw so that we could outspeed Hitmonchan and Hitmonlee. I don't do that, which, I don't know. I mean, it doesn't matter now, and I delete Mimic for Hydro Pump. That actually does make a degree of sense, although that's not what I would do today. I mean, that's why I wouldn't do that today. Hydro Pump does offer a lot more damage if you're going to try to go for a bit of a more lucky, let's try everything we can right now. Also, by the way, as stubborn as I am, I still know you got a rare candy before Agatha. Which, to be fair, I still do sometimes, but I do like to see it at a higher level because if I can't win at a higher level, then I just know time to go back to Victory Road, time to level up. I just find it doesn't necessarily waste in-game time, just my real time. Anyway, this isn't going to go well. Because... Dream Eater, oh wow, that did a lot, but it puts me to sleep. Super Potion, I stay asleep. Oh, I wake up before that second Dream Eater. Okay, we knock out the first one. Now Golbat, Haze gets rid of my badge boost, which I immediately put back with a withdraw. Unfortunately, it hits me with Super Sonic, and Ice Beam doesn't knock it out. 
We hit ourselves in confusion, but thankfully Golbat didn't do anything. Super Potion. I go for Withdraw just to try to get a little bit more speed. Haze gets rid of that and more. We knock out Golbat. Haunter, I go for Hydro Pump. It doesn't knock it out, but does decent damage. It then goes for Dream Eater. So I actually think we might make it to Lance. We knock out Arbok with a critical hit after it used Acid. And Nightshade, Hydro Pump. Ah, uh, oh, come on. So close. Oh, come on. So close. All right, we did it. Yay. So this is my first real attempt. And we've made it to Lance. But there has been a Pokemon we've really struggled against. And that Pokemon is Gyarados. Just because its special is still really good. It's very bulky. And we don't have a good move to use against it. And this time we can't set up. So I don't think it's going to go super well. Case in point, it goes for Hydro Pump, deals about half my HP. I go for Withdraw to try and gain a little bit of speed. We do actually outspeed, and Blizzard doesn't do half. Hydro Pump then crits. And this is when things get really bad. I lose to Agatha three times, and I make it back to Lance, right? I'm at level 61. There you go. It's not going to work, man. It's not going to work. And to be fair, I remember exactly what I was thinking on October 18th, 2020. Wow, such a long time ago. More than two years. But I thought Omanyte had the chance to be as good as Poliwag, as good as Ghastly. I wanted so badly to prove that speed wasn't everything. And listen, at the end of the day, what's going to happen is going to happen. I really can't be biased in these runs. People think sometimes I intentionally sabotage certain runs or play better. Not at all. What I will do sometimes is try the same not working strategy far too many times and just waste my own time. Never once has this worked out for me for the record. And even if it did, I would recognize that. Nowadays, when something doesn't work relatively quickly, I'll notice and just level up a bit more because there's no point. You won't feel satisfaction. But I was so convinced that with Withdraw, that great defense and special, Omanyte would be a star. Get it? But it wasn't. We only lost one more time to Agatha, and so we've made it back to our pal, Gyarados. But notice, we're not at a higher level. And so we do get a crit, but what exactly is the expectation here? Nothing has changed. Finally, after this one, even 2020 Jeros realizes, okay, it's time to go back and buy vitamins. That's right. That's my first choice is to buy vitamins because it just wastes time, not time and levels. Still today, that's what I'll do because rarely do I max out my stat experience. And 430, by the way, is still a really good time for the record. That would be about a 445, which would put it in the same range as Pokemon like Butterfree. So for first form Pokemon, that's excellent. And you can see I buy five Calciums and I use all of them. I can also sell some of the TMs I still have left and I can make Omanyte quite a bit stronger. Is that going to be enough though? No, no, I just lose to Agatha. I mean, the thing is with that extra special, it's a two at KO versus Gengar, which is really good without any sort of crits or anything. But like... I don't know what universe you might have believed Agatha would be good versus a slow Pokemon that uses special attacks. And I'm going to say that one of the most frustrating runs to do is one where both Agatha and Lance are really frustrating. Because you spend all that time thinking about whether or not you've made the Lance battle any better, only to lose to Agatha, and the rare times you do make it to Lance, you barely make any progress. It can be really, really frustrating. Two more losses to Agatha later. By the way, I sometimes lose to Laura Lee too. Don't think it's just Agatha. The Laura Lee ones are just more my fault. Anyway, we make it back to Lance. We're still at level 61. This time I go straight for Blizzard. Then I go for Ice Beam and then Blizzard. So no more withdraw. That's a choice. After you get past Gyarados, you can actually make it past the rest of Lance's Pokemon unless Aerodactyl doesn't cooperate, which it didn't. Had it missed with Supersonic or gone for Bite, we would have... Well, I don't know if we would have outsped Dragonite, but we could have made it to the champion. We still haven't. It's been two hours and ten minutes that I've been playing this game. 
and we haven't once made it to the champion. And trust me, there's more time remaining in the footage than some of my runs last. Still, I've been stuck at the Elite Four for 40 plus minutes. And finally I decide, let's go battle trainers in Victory Road. That's normally something I would do after three or four losses, but again, 2020 J Rose is just different. And by different, I mean bad. And by bad, I mean the worst. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. I like my older videos, but even for 2020 J Rose, I knew I was being just a little bit too stubborn. All right, I'm gonna show a battle versus Agatha now that I'm at level 66. Gengar is still out speeding, but it's a two KO like before. Now, I actually messed up and I've deleted Ice Beam because I actually saved after a loss. So, no Ice Beam yet. <laughs> Instead, we have Hydro Pump, but that's okay. I hadn't saved after I used Blizzard, so I can still teach Blizzard. This was another thing I was really upset about. Thankfully, we are able to still beat Agatha this time. We're roughly about 30% against her, which is good, actually, considering our speed. But is Lance going to be significantly easier? Let's see. Well, for the first time I can remember, Gyarados missed with Hydro Pump, and we set up one withdraw. I then go for Blizzard, and there you go. It misses. I guess I deserve that after the Hydro Pump miss, because this one doesn't. Now Blizzard's doing half. Hydro Pump doesn't miss and we knock it out. So, here's the problem. We can use Blizzard against Dragonair, and then we have to use Surf, because we need it against Dragonite. All this because I accidentally overwrote Ice Beam and saved. Just this run. It's so bad. And that's why I just sat there being like, should I just try again? Like, what do I do? On the very next attempt, I make it right back to Lance. I go for withdraw. And you can see I'm actually outspeeding Gyarados. I use two. Blizzard, I mean, God, no. Because I want to outspeed Aerodactyl. I hate this. All right, one Agatha to loss later. I make it back to Lance. So not my next attempt, but the attempt after. All right, we outspeed. And I'm going to go for Blizzard, Hydro Pump. So the reason you over withdraw first is that it's not a two shot. It uses a Hyper Potion and that <sighs> Hydro Pump will do less. Ugh. No, I just feel like at this point I'm getting awful luck. The leveling up was late. Deleting Ice Beam sucks. But at this point, I'm just getting the worst luck ever. One more loss to Agatha later. We make it back to Lance. I use Withdraw. Hydro Pump's good. Then I misclick and go for Hydro Pump. Wonderful! Even my brain RNG is bad. I had the 1 in 256 chance that I hit the wrong button. Well, not hit the wrong button, actually hit the button I'm supposed to hit, but 1, 2, few You know what I'm saying! All right, we actually have a win streak versus Agatha now, which is kind of nice. We haven't beaten Lance yet. I think this is my seventh try. So withdraw, Hydro Pump, no crit. Blizzard, yes, Hydro Pump, that's fine. Okay, now Dragonair. Blizzard. That's one. We level up. Wait. Wait. Okay, that's fine. We knock out. No, no, no. Why did I use Blizzard? Why did I use Blizzard? Why did I use Blizzard? Why? 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 <laughs> Why? Do you know the worst part? I didn't know where the PowerPoint ups were at this point. There's one in Sylph Company. There's one in Celadon. I didn't know that yet. Oh, it's so bad, guys. It's so bad. I hate this. For the record, I've been beating Agatha really consistently. And I've actually been using withdraw strats. After two, serve as a two shot on Gengar, which is still fine. Unfortunately, we get a crit. Actually, it doesn't matter. It's still a two shot. Whatever. It is a one shot versus Golbat. Hydro Pump one shots Haunter. Surf one shots Arbok, and then Surf two shots Gengar number two. So, yeah, Agatha's pretty consistent at this point. We have won, I think, four consecutive times. And each one of those battles, I lost to Lance. The last few were my own fault, so let's see what will go wrong here. Withdraw, Hydro Bump no crit. Blizzard, good. Hydro Bump no crit. 
Blizzard miss. All right, well, that's a loss because we can knock out Dragonair. We can, oh, another miss. Yay, I'm so happy I deleted Ice Beam and didn't get PowerPoint ups. I'm so, so happy. I mean, I'm genuinely happy about the fact I have a five win streak versus Agatha. That's insane. <laughs> but what is my loss streak versus Lance? Is anyone keeping track? I'm not, AJ probably is. Please don't waste your time. I have shown you guys every Lance battle, I think. I don't even know, I might have skipped one. Who knows? For the record, this isn't stubbornness. This is just ridiculous. All right, withdraw, Hydro Pump, no crit. Blizzard, fine. Hydro Pump, Blizzard, yay. Dragonair, Blizzard, no! No, no, no. All right, let's go for Hydro Pump, no! All right, keeps going for agility, that's good. And now, all right, 22 HP is fine. We can work with that. Blizzard, all right, Aerodactyl, cooperate. Please cooperate. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, outspeed, outspeed and hit. Outs we don't outspeed. No! <laughs> I hate this game so much. I'm, oh, maybe? No. <sighs> I started playing three hours ago. This is now officially the longest solo run ever. We haven't made it to the champion. Please, please. Withdraw, Hydro Pump, no crit. Blizzard, no fr freeze. I said no freeze, but I got freeze. I got freeze. I don't know why I said no freeze. I, I, I didn't even know I was going to get a freeze there. These are pre-recorded. I didn't know that. Okay, Blizzard knocks it out. Let's go. All right, Dragonair, we can set up withdraw if we want or go for Blizzard. What do we do? Go for Blizzard. All right, Aerodactyl, don't go for Super... No! No, 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 no. Okay, hitting yourself in confusion. Sign. Stop flinching. Stop flinching. Stop hitting myself in confusion. Stop it. All right, come on. All right, no confuse no more. Let's go. Let's go. Please hit. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, after three hours, we've made it to the champion. And I feel like I deserve that one. We got such bad luck. It's bad that I didn't know where the PowerPoint ups are. I don't know. I guess I didn't know they existed in this game. I'd find that out probably after this run. Let's go beat the champion. Who cares? All right. Pidgeot is first. I'm going to go for withdraw. Wing attack's fine. Another withdraw. Sky attack. You know what? Let's go for Blizzard. Knock it out. Great. Algazam, I think we're fine. Psychic isn't great. Please no special drop. We don't get it. Hydro Bump. Ooh, one more withdrawal we needed. Psychic, please no spec. I'm done. I'm done. I, I can't. I'm done. All right, guys. This challenge was impossible. Thank you guys all for watching. No, I'm kidding. But the truth is, and AJ knows this, this is where the video cuts off. There was no more of that video. I actually rage quit. It was 4.30 in the morning. I thought I'd be done hours ago. And I lost to the champion what felt like in seconds. It was in seconds. So I did do a couple different things. I went to the power plants. I leveled up a little bit more to make things a little easier. And I just battled again. Unfortunately, it's not as if battling again instantly yielded results. I had lost a couple times to Agatha and once more to Lance. And I honestly thought that maybe I would just try again from the start. That it's not worth it. Obviously, I just messed up really early on and I didn't know enough. And the truth is, had I known about the PowerPoint ups, this would be a lot easier. By the way, Bruno's so bad, we don't have to heal for him. I love that. Six win streak against Agatha. Sure, that's nice. But who cares? We've made it to the champion a single time in three and a half hours. And what did we have to show for it? Three attacks or something? Just honestly, I felt so deflated. But... With my extra rare candies, I am going to be at a higher level than I was before, which is nice. And hopefully that's going to make Agatha even more consistent than she already was. One thing I do like about the fully evolved runs is that in the fully evolved runs, at the very least, I don't have to press B every time I use a rare candy. I cannot explain to you when you do these all the time just how tedious that is. 
I'm going to save one for the champion so I can badge boost glitch against Pidgeot, which is pretty smart. Unfortunately, this battle starts off horribly. Gengar confuses me and then gets two Nightshades before I even attack. I set up three withdraws so that Hydro Pump will one-shot Gengar. We now outspeed, and if we hit, we'll one-shot everything, except we miss against the second Gengar, and then we get a bad range, and we're confused, and we hit ourselves in confusion, and we're poisoned, and Agatha heals, and yet we still win. So that's cool. That's really cool. Now we have to battle Lance. Lance has been the trainer that has been the ultimate thorn in my side. And I still didn't find a PP up, which is in the power plant. Anyway, withdraw, hydro pump, blizzard, hydro pump, knockout, dragonair, blizzard, knockout, dragonair, blizzard, knockout, supersonic, of course, surf knocks it out, and now please hit agility. All right. All right. All right. We made it back to the champion. Okay, no more sulking. We're back for the second time with more levels. Level 68 and Elixir. We might not have six power points. We might not have Ice Beam, but more importantly, we have Badge Boost Glitch. And let's hope that's enough. So, Sky Attack's fine. One withdraw. Another withdraw. Sky Attack does not have an increased critical hit ratio. It only does 15 damage. Third withdraw, Sky Attack charge. Fourth withdraw, Sky Attack hit. 10 damage lost. Fifth withdraw, mirror move. It uses withdraw. Final withdraw, another mirror move withdraw. I use Surf, knock out Pidgeot. Alakazam comes out, I outspeed and use Surf, knock out Alakazam. Rhydon comes out, I use Surf, knock out Rhydon. Gyarados comes out, I use Blizzard and hit. Doesn't knock it out. Hydro Pump, no crit. Surf knocks it out. Four down. Arcanon, I use Surf. Five down. Venusaur, I use Blizzard. And we win. Whew. Gosh, that was, that was not fun. And do you want to hear the worst thing? Do you want to hear what sucks? Is that with five hours and 34 minutes... Omanyte actually completed this challenge the fourth fastest of any Pokemon. However, I cannot possibly put it in the top two tiers. It, it doesn't, no, it's not going to happen. It took me three hours. It's going to go above Krabby as the fifth best Pokemon. It still did really well. I could have just saved so much time if I played better. But, hey, for Kabuto, it's 2022 now. And maybe I'll do that run soon. I kind of feel like doing that. Trying to see how much better I've gotten in two years. And again, like I always say, the year I do the run doesn't really affect it. I can tell that this Pokemon is really good. And with some slightly better strategy and a little less stubbornness and a lot less awful luck. And with knowledge of PowerPoint ups, we could have done this much, much quicker. And probably this video would have been out a lot, lot sooner. But hey, I think it was worth the wait. Thank you guys for watching. Take care.